When it was seized by the government and auctioned off in 2012, this mansion was little more than a blue roof on an empty shell. During an open house today, potential buyers like Jeffrey Rodero saw what their future could be instead of the original owner's criminal past. It wouldn't bother me in the least. It's history, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't think there's any uh, ghosts here or skeletons in the closet. So uh, whoever purchases uh, this is going to have uh, a wonderful home. The mansion will go back up for auction next month. It is a rare chance to buy modern construction with privacy and extensive skinny Atlas Lake frontage. The home is 7,500 square feet, including a sprawling master suite. This was designed as part of a multi-room walk-in closet. The home also has one of the more elaborate showers you will ever see. And people walk into this home and they're taken back by the quality, by the finishes, by the view. The mansion's finished basement has a separate temperature-controlled wine cellar built in the middle. There's garage space for four cars. It's up to you if you want to use the fifth garage bay for an RV, boat, or a basketball court. To put in a bid, potential buyers have to put down a refundable $100,000 retainer. Bidding starts at $2.25 million. It's not the initial cost, it's the upkeep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the taxes, it's the upkeep, it's the heating, it's the cooling. Many changes and upgrades have been made, but one thing remains the same, the infamous blue roof. No, and quite frankly, I, when you drive down, it fits, it suits, and, and this whole thing just kind of fits. The auction will be held on August 16th. Last year, a home on the other side of the lake sold for $4.1 million, and that auction was run by the same firm. For now, reporting from Skinny Atlas, I'm Alex Dunbar.